Hi, my name's Karalia from the Yoga Lunchbox, and I'm the author of two books, 40 Days of Yoga, and the book I will speak about today, The No More Excuses Guide to Yoga. I wrote this book because so many people would come up to me as a yoga teacher and yoga writer and say, oh yeah, I've been meaning to try yoga for ages. And I started to wonder, you've been meaning to try, so what's stopping you? What's getting in the way? And when I contemplated that, I realized that for most people, going to yoga is somewhat intimidating. It's stepping into the unknown. It's like walking into a brand new world where you don't necessarily know the language, you don't know the customs, you don't know how you're expected to behave, and you don't know how you're going to be treated. So I decided I would write a book that would give people the confidence to know enough. It's like having a guidebook, the rough guide to yoga. So when they go into class, they feel more comfortable and there's less fear, and they can concentrate on just being in the class itself. The book expanded as books are want to do. So there's not just common misconceptions about yoga. These are the ideas that people have that stop them from going like, I don't have enough time to do yoga, or I'm not flexible enough to do yoga, or I'm too old to do yoga. So I take each of those excuses, well, those ideas, and I break them down. And I give people ways to work around them. So if you are older, how do you find the right class for you? If you're more inflexible, how do you find a class and what do you look for in a teacher that's going to help you slowly open your body up? The book then goes on to answer some common questions about yoga. Things like, how fit do I need to be? What are the benefits of yoga practice? What are you om about? What is this om thing that we do in yoga? In the third section, I look at yoga philosophy, concepts and history. Now this is a huge topic, but I wanted to break it down and make it accessible and easy to understand. So that when your teacher mentions a word like kosher, you can go, what is that? Pick up the book, look it up, and then you'll get it in just a couple of pages and you'll understand enough. In the fourth section, I talk about your yoga practice, what it looked like and what it can include and how yoga isn't just what happens on the mat but what happens off the mat. The fifth section is choosing teachers, classes and studios. And this is a big deal because often we go to a teacher and we don't like them and then we think yoga's not for me. Well it might just have been that that teacher wasn't right for you or that particular style wasn't right for you. So I always encourage people to try many teachers and many styles until you find the one that works for you best. And then the last section is in class. What can you expect in a yoga class? And it's all laid out there. So by the time you've finished reading this book, you'll have a much clearer idea of what this world of yoga is all about. What to expect, what the language is about, what the behaviours are about, and where you might fit in to this brand new world. I'm Karalia Grant from the Yoga Lunchbox, and this is the No More Excuses Guide to Yoga. It's $29 New Zealand, and you can buy it direct from me via the website.